Uh, good morning, church. It's an exciting time. We have a baptism this morning. Landon is ready to be baptized, and we're going to celebrate with him. Baptism is a celebration. Maybe baptism is new. Maybe you haven't been to uh, Grace for a baptism before, but I want to share a couple things about baptism before Landon comes out, and one of them is that it's a celebration. It's a wonderful day. You can cheer for Landon. You can uh, clap for him. We're walking together in love. And uh, overall with baptism, Jesus was baptized, and then he wants all of his followers to be baptized. That's the reason we have a baptism today. And one important thing about baptism to note is that you don't earn salvation through baptism. Some people have a false perception that oh, I have to get baptized to be forgiven and in God's family. No, that's not what's happening this morning. That is by grace alone. And that's a gift. Jesus died for our sins. He's risen. And that's a gift. And Landon's already received the gift. He's already made a decision to follow Jesus. He's in God's family forever. His sins are forgiven. And baptism is the way to publicly express and communicate that You know, we're not ashamed of Jesus. He's our Savior, and uh, it's a public declaration. Also, when you think about the water, there's nothing uh, magical about this water. Uh, We're hoping it's warm enough. There were a few challenges with the heater, but we added some hot water. We should be good. Landon's a hockey player, so I think he's going to roll with this temperature. But uh, the water itself, uh, the symbolism going into the water and coming out of the water, uh, think of Jesus' death and his resurrection. Again, it's a public identification with Jesus and uh, we're following what the Lord asks us to do. That word baptism also means to immerse, and that's why Landon will go in the water and come up as well. Uh, Without any further ado, Landon, uh, come on out, and I'm going to remove the covering as well. Let's welcome Landon today. There you go. How's that feeling? A little chilly. A little chilly. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Don't want to lie at church. Let's just talk about that. Uh, it, it's been um, just a pleasure to get to know Landon, uh, especially the last few months. And uh, Landon uh, has written down his story. And when someone gets baptized, uh, we just want it to be personal. It's with Landon, the Lord. It's with all of us together as a church family. And uh, Landon wanted to share his story. So I'm going to read it now. About six years ago, I was interested introduced to Jesus. And you know what? I said I'd I'd put this on too. So why don't I just uh, go for that? Okay. Now we're ready. Uh, About six years ago, I was introduced to Jesus as a freshman in high school. After years of living apart from Jesus, I came to realize how amazing the gift that Jesus' sacrifice was. I don't have a specific moment where I accepted Jesus, But as a senior in high school, I had a gradual understanding of what it means to become a born-again Christian. Since that day, I have come to know the freedom and hope that comes with faith in Jesus. I have learned the love that Jesus extends to everyone and the calling that we have to share the good news. Today, I am happy to share Jesus through Young Life, and it is because I love Jesus that I am getting baptized. Thank you. Uh, Land and I uh, relate to your story. I came to know the Lord as a young adult, and I don't know the exact day. And ultimately, you don't have to know the exact day. What's really clear is that you've made a decision, and you put your trust in Jesus, and he's your Savior. And I'm just going to ask you a simple question. Is Jesus your Lord and Savior? Yes. All right. Absolutely. And then uh, it's my joy right now to baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Yo, subscribe to YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> subscribe to this channel. <laughs>